Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. I went ahead and painted that piece and I took video of it, so I just want to kind of show you the process. Start the intro. Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. All right, so we got the got the gold wing back in the shed. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna take this piece off here, which is gonna be this whole bezel that comes off from the speedometer. I've seen a lot of people have those, you know, like a wood grain. I've seen, you know, some painted the chrome. I've seen some gold. You know, I, and then this is just, you know, I'm not a professional, but this is just to each perfect person's preference, it's whatever they like. I'm going to actually take this off. I'm going to strip it down and I'm going to paint it the same color as the bike. Uh, hoping that'll turn out pretty good. So, but yeah, let me, uh, let me start taking this thing apart. Don't know what's entailed. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there for it, but we'll see what we can uh, we can do here. And I'll try to keep you informed every step of the way. Um, you know, I'm not going to film the whole thing, but you'll you'll see pieces here and there. So, uh, okay, here we go. Okay, that was easy. Got the front speaker covers removed. Um, we're just gaining here. Uh, one thing at a time though. Actually those those came out really easy. They're just little little clips here that hold on the top um, And then the put the bottom just pushes in so all you do is you take a little credit card and you go across the top and it, it just releases it so uh, The next is is this little push pin right here. We're gonna take that out and then we're going to get down There's a bolt down there uh, I don't think you can see it on on the screen here but there's a bolt down there that we're going to get to also once we get that bolt this push pin this push pin and this bolt then i believe we're just going to pick up on this and we're going to pop it right off so here we go okay we got that panel out i took that uh trip and display out um we're gonna have to cover up those blinkers I don't want I don't want to paint those blinkers so we'll cover those up as well uh, but yeah so we got that out everything went pretty smooth um, I do got some new speakers Oops, sorry I do got some new speakers and I'm gonna slide in here uh, I don't know I mean those I'd, I'd imagine those are as old as the bike so uh, but yep, we'll clean all that up and I'll throw in those new speakers and we'll get this painted and hopefully uh, Hopefully she will look pretty good when we get her done Hopefully you guys agree so all right YouTube I'll Talk to you in a few Okay, we Got the cover off I went ahead and sorry about the, the darkness in here. It is a little dark, but Went ahead and pulled one of the speakers out. It was a little tricky getting the one screw out from back here, but if you just do a little, I mean, I wouldn't bend it too much because, I mean, you, you can snap that whole top dash piece. Um, but the one screw is right there in the corner. and I was able to get that out pretty easy, so hopefully we can get the other one in, but... And then we'll get the get the other speaker here, but uh, let's keep going. Oh, also, I'm going to, uh, before I put this piece back on, you know, there's quite a few spots underneath where you can put some lights. And I got a an LED light kit that I'm actually going to be installing on the bike after I get this painted. You know, it's going to be like within the next three days, I'm going to be doing all of this, uh, trying to get things taken care of. But 
Um, I just want some, some good music to play through the speakers, which I don't even know why I'm doing that. I bought them, and I might as well just put them in, but, I mean, these speakers do work. You know, like I said, they're just, they're just as old as the bike, so I figured I'd replace them to get nice, crisp, clean sound. But then I'm going to put a Bluetooth in my helmet, so I don't even know what the sense of that is, but... Hey, it'll be good for the next guy, you know, down the road. At least it'll last another five, ten years. So, but yep, I'll uh, I'll get back to you as I get this this part here prepped and ready to be painted. I will keep you all in the loop. Here we go. Okay. Uh, got her washed, sanded, cleaned. As you can see, there's really nothing shiny on it anymore. Um, it was. The only problem I had was these little blinkers. I gotta have the, I got a little piece of cardboard in there just right to cover them up. But other than that, nope. Uh, we should be good to go. We will apply a coat and see what happens. Okay. Got two coats of paint on there. I think she looks pretty good. It's definitely orange now. It's not gray anymore. So we'll see how that turns out. I got to do, uh, I did two coats of base. I'm getting ready to do two to three coats of clear. And we'll see, see what that does. Okay, first coat of clear on there. Looks pretty good. I'm going to wait another few minutes and add another coat there's my second coat of clear it's definitely uh definitely shiny i kind of like that looks even yeah looks good and yes i did bake it in my oven Okay, we got the new speakers in. Those are nice and set. I'm going to go get this piece and I'm going to put it back on. Hopefully it looks pretty good when we're done. So here we go. Okay, the end result. I've, uh, let me just say real quick, I got the paint from Colorite. It's uh, Colorite.com. They will actually match your Goldwing paint to a T. Uh, you can just click on it, and you can you know, just call it .com if you want to know anything. But anyways, the end result is that. Uh, I also added the, the chrome bezel around the, the gauges, but I think that just, that just makes the bike look totally complete to me. It all flows together very nicely. Um, again, this is just what I prefer. Other people might prefer the gray. Other people might prefer gold. I don't care. That's it's my bike. It's it's what I prefer. So no offense to anybody out there. Um, but like I said, it it turned out really good. I'm I'm definitely impressed. I'm I'm happy. I did it all myself. It, the paint cost about a hundred bucks, and then the time. But you know. And you can YouTube everything if you don't know what you're doing. It's, it tells you everything. But anyways, if you like everything, please click the, the like button and please subscribe. There's going to be more more things that I'm going to end up doing sooner or later to it. But, um, but hey, thanks for watching. Have a good one.